Hi everybody, this is The Whisper Corner, in this audio video, I'm going to read a letter that I wrote to my nephew. My nephew is currently one year old, and my sister-in-law has come up with this idea of us writing letters as a sort of time capsule that will be given to them when they turn 18. So in this case this one will not be opened until 2036. I might have a wee bit of common sense by then. Maybe. I might even be alive. Who knows? It depends on so many things. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to read this letter to you. And for the sake of family privacy, I'm going to change the names of my nephew and my brother, since I talk about certain things from my childhood in my rambling three-page letter of nonsense. So, here we go. Hi, James. Happy birthday. Have the Russians or Chinese invaded Europe yet? Have Liverpool won the league in the last 17 years? I was going to write a tip like don't sit on the toilet before making sure there is toilet paper, but I have better advice. Read. Expand your mind through reading. When I was in my late thirties, early forties, I started working through a list of 100 books to read before you die. I'm going to recommend three or four here. A Prayer for Owen Minnie by John Irvine. At the time of writing, this is my favorite book, a book on friendship, love and sacrifice. The end had me shedding. Bird Song by Sebastian Fuchs. The Life of the Soldiers in World War I. A wonderful book of life in the trenches. Bleak House by Charles Dickens. A bit of a long one here, I'm afraid, but a great read from one of my favourite authors. Law, Family, Love and Sacrifice. And finally, The Sacred History by Donna Tart. I'll be honest, I can only remember one thing about this. As I closed it over, I remember saying, wow, what a book. I hope you and your brothers have grown up in a loving, happy home like your dad and I did. Funny story, when your dad and I were boys, we used to sleep in separate beds, but were only an arm's length apart. There were times when he'd be breathing too loudly, so I'd reach across and pull on his pillow until he was quiet. But then if he was too quiet, I'd worry he was dead, so I'd pull on his pillow again until he made some sign of life. This is a little sign of what your future will be like. You'll remember the silliest little things from your childhood. Flashbacks of toys, conversations, smells, arguments, friends who you no longer see or even know what happened to them. Love your parents. Cherish them. Your mum and dad 
did everything they could for you to have a happy life. Stay close to them and your brothers. Don't let distance or the impending Russian slash Chinese invasion get in the way of this. On that point, maybe learn another language. Something easy, like Russian or Chinese. Be healthy. Stay healthy. Don't reach your 30s or 40s with regrets. There's time to make changes now. Don't argue with people on the internet. You won't change their mind and you end up annoyed for no good reason. Another old memory. When we were children, the whole family visited Dundrum Castle and your dad had a blue t-shirt on with his name written across it. There was a couple having a picnic lying on the ground and as we walked past, the man shouted, Hi Daniel. I remember us wondering how he knew him. I think we were seven or eight. What did I say about silly little memories popping into your heads? Final thoughts. Recycle. Clean your teeth. Treat people with respect. Travel the world. Read. Love. Listen to your mum and dad. Support Liverpool. Smile at strangers. It'll keep them away. Hopefully I'm here to hear this read to me in 2036. If not, they'll never find all the bodies. Lots of love, Uncle Kev. The 8th of March, 2019.